Hi guys, what's going on? It's Molly here with Pusa TV, and I have some exciting news for you guys. Um, a hacker has been able, has hacked the Microsoft service to be able to run legacy applications. And what legacy applications are, are applications that you run on a any Microsoft computer that you have, like running Windows, which has an AMD or uh, well, it, it's basically an x86 operating system. 64 or 32 bit, and uh, one that has an Intel or AMD chip because that's what the programs are compiled for. But uh, the um, saying, oh, uh, the guy, the hacker himself is like his name is Cloaker or something. Um, so it's somewhere here, Cloaker. He he was able to run some legacy applications. On the Microsoft Service running RT, and the reason that you can't run legacy applications on the RT because uh, the one thing is not an x86 operating system. Um, I'm not sure what the other version is. Uh, this is a, I think this is a 32-bit something something, and it has, and it's all this is running on an ARM chip, so it's not running on a Intel or AMD chip uh, for computers like laptops and stuff, it's running on a mobile chip, like something that you have, well, it's the Tegra 3 processor, so the one that's in my HTC One X, something like that, and I, I don't really like ARM um, chips that much, but uh, yeah, so yeah, you're going to be you're gonna be able to, hopefully in the future, I can really see this, because they're, they're really trying these things out, and uh, I wouldn't go ahead and download this and install the jailbreak, but you can, you can get it, obviously, um, one of these. I'll, I'll leave all these uh, things in the description for you guys to read. So obviously I'm not going to read them to you. I can't really be bothered and no one wants to hear me read. I'm not that enthusiastic about reading all this. But uh, you can go ahead and download it and install it. But I highly don't recommend you doing this if you don't have any experience with Windows and programming on Windows at all because it could screw up your device, it's in early beta stages, it's, it could be unstable, there are bugs everywhere and it will void your warranty. You're, you're doing something against the warranty, you're tweaking the, soft, uh, the operating system, it is against your warranty so you know you screw it up, you turn it to Microsoft, you get denied. Uh, so you just have a brick, you have a very 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 expensive paperweight, very expensive. So it, it's very exciting for me to see something like this. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to use some legacy applications on my Microsoft Surface because I might not buy the Pro. I, I wanted to buy the Pro at the beginning, but then I hesitated. Then I bought the RT. Then I saw that it cost about nine hundred. It's going to cost like nine hundred dollars plus you know G, ten percent GST. So it's going to cost like close to a thousand dollars. So nine hundred ninety nine uh, nine hundred and ninety dollars in Australia uh, with that GST. 10% government tax, but it's it's very exciting. So I'm going to finally be able to use uh, an application like all my legacy applications, hopefully. Uh, but if you go ahead and download this, if, if you're experienced, um, by all means, you can just go ahead and download it. If you know if you know what you're doing, you shouldn't really run into any problems. And if you do run into problems, you can fix it up and then. Uh, yeah, but the, it, it's, it's really limited, the jailbreak, because if you download, let's say, let's find a program, let's say I found Photoshop. I want to run Photoshop on my, my Windows RT surface, and it is jailbroken, or whatever, we'll, we'll just call it jailbreak for the time being. You know, I got Photoshop, I'm not going to be able to run Photoshop straight away, I'm going to have to compile Photoshop, uh, so... So it can be able to run on the ARM chip, which is in this Microsoft Surface. Now you won't have this problem with the RT because it has no, not the RT, the Pro because it has an Intel chip. So you can go ahead and just install it just like that. But with the RT, because it's running an ARM chip, you're gonna have to even compile that program. Uh, I'm not sure if compile is the right word, but you know, can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But you're gonna have to compile. The program that's that's uh, able to run on Intel-based and uh, AMD chips, and you're gonna have to bother to make it run on ARM chips, which are like um, the Cortex A9, which is in some Samsung phones. I don't even know. Uh, Tegra 3, uh, whatever. 
take the three in this case. The the, the arm troops are the mobile uh, troops and uh, able to open the all these mobile devices. So you're gonna have to basically not make it into a mobile version, but you're gonna have to make it so that it runs on a different processor of a different architecture because uh, the ARM architecture I'm pretty sure is different than the um, uh, Intel and AMD architecture. And I'm not sure what uh, I'm not sure what category AMD and Intel processors come under because I know the mobile chips and all that come under ARM, but I'm not sure about the things. I'm gonna call them desktop chips, but uh, yeah. So. The, so that's, this is very very exciting for me guys, uh, if it's exciting for you please give it a like, I know a lot of people, a lot a lot of people will really like it and you won't have to go ahead and chip in for the, uh, the pro. This is very exciting for me, uh, as it, uh, these are programs on XDA developers which have already been compiled to run on, uh, what do you call it, RT, so you have this. I don't know what that is. T uh, type BNC, I have that. This thingy, uh, 7 zip. You know, you have, I think you already have WinZip on your thing, so I wouldn't go ahead and download 7 zip. You have uh, Notepad, Double Plus, or Plus Plus. I have your Messenger, all these, and the list will be growing. So hopefully, from now on, what I can see in the future, you will be able to download this jailbreak, and then there will be a much larger list. Of program, so instead of downloading the program, then you know editing it yourself and compiling it to run on Windows RT, uh, someone might have already done it and posted it. So you know, just like you're going to install this and download, you know, um, like a game or something or a program. It's not really a, a crap cracked program. It's not very good at comparison, but something like that. Go ahead and download Quake. That's very interesting. Yeah, so if you do that, yeah, as I said in the future, there might be an app or just like a forum or something with a list of all these applications that have already been compiled for you. Uh, I'm not sure how hard it is for you to edit the program and make it run on RT. I, I don't really have, I haven't done any programming in a while, and it's not that advanced, but. Yeah, it's very exciting. So if you if you like this video, guys, give it a like. Uh, comment down below. If, if if you're actually gonna try this and you actually have experience, by all means do it. And please leave a, a video response so I can watch it and uh, see how it works out. And you know, if it's not too hard and if I can handle it, I'll do it myself just to show you guys. Go through, and I'll go through a step by step tutorial, like a, a new. I'll try to go through like a a new proof tutorial to show you guys how to do it. Um, that's if someone experienced doesn't just show me how to do it and stuff. So yeah that's about it. That's all I had to say to you guys. Uh, I will leave all the links in the description. If you have any um, any questions for me you can leave them down in the comments below or you can hit me up on Twitter at it's Marlo I T Z M A R L O W um, it will all be in the in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.